Pokenuts, it is your girl, Princess Cat, and we are back today to discuss a little bit about the new event, as well as the little 617 patch that they just kind of threw in under there unexpectedly. So um, to begin, we have these new King gift boxes. They, like other event monsters, cost 5 AP to um, attack. Their monster CP is extremely low, so pretty much anybody can hit them. And they are going to give you a first aid box. Now these are pretty plentiful, but like the other event monsters, they don't uh, work with your auto hunt. So unfortunately you have to put a little bit of a grind in. What I do recommend, there is a monster hunting event that runs with this. Some of the times we get events that go with it, sometimes we don't. So you do get additional rewards by hunting up to, I think a thousand of them. And so if you just let your AP accrue and you hunt these a couple times a day, you're definitely going to be able to complete the event by the time it is up. Again, they give these first aid boxes, and I have a few that I haven't opened, so we can go ahead and open them together. See, I have 600 of them. And what we're mainly going to see are things that are going to help us during PvP. So revival herbs, healing speeds, and gold. Worth completing the event over. Um, now we've also had a new update come in. And we've had some exciting things with that. We'll pop in here. We have had a resource center that now goes up to 100. And that's going to be the centers of your outer buildings that resources. So it doesn't include your hospitals or barracks or things like that, but things that are going to increase your food or your lumber, you're going to be able to upgrade those. It's going to take a whole bunch of resources, but it will give you a lot of power. So if you're looking to upgrade your power, that is one way to do it. The only benefit that a lot of them are going to give you are basically to reduce your training speed times. We also have some new research in the academies, particularly in your battle, or not in your battle, sorry, your battle and battle two, not your battle training. That's going to be all the way at the end, and it's going to be for your defenders. It's going to be um, increasing your attack while you're defending. So this is only going to apply when someone is attacking you. That kind of made me a little bit miffed because I'm right at the part in my battle training <laughs> which reduces that um, troop attack from your enemy by 300%. And now they just release a patch that gives everybody 300% for a lot less cost than the silver I have to expend. I'm not doing so great in my battle, or my battle 2 yet, but... I have a lot to do. But it's back there. So I got some pretty significant upgrades, especially for defense, which is always great because I feel like, especially for the, uh, maybe not so recently, but up until the last couple months, defense has really been lacking in this game. And so um, between some of the new monsters and the battle training research, and a couple of the other things, they've really been able to increase the defense in this game. So, overall, it's a good thing. They have decreased the amount of lower level monsters, but increased the amount of higher level monsters on your map. So that is always good. And there's three new pets, you guys. Three new pets. I love my pets. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. Now, um, you can get these in packs, and the latest pack that have come out, these are special grade 6 summoning scrolls, so these particular summoning scrolls will only summon one of the three new pets. You should have gotten a free one that will at least have given you one of them. Now, they will summon any of the three new ones, so even the Kansas, which is going to be part of the new um, capital battle that will be occurring on the 25th, I think. 
think that's when the next cat battle is. Anyhow, in the next cat battle, the one who reigns king will be able to get a free Kansas. However, you can still get him in these packs. Or randomly. If we go ahead and we look at the codex, this, these three guys on the bottom, we have Kansas, who's going to be there as a rally debuff. She's going to be good with defense from rallies. We also have the Thunder Phoenix, which is going to be awesome for Siege with attacking. And then we also have the Mandrogo, or Mandragora. There we go. Kind of looks like a Harry Potter Mandrake root dude. My uh, kingdom has been calling him a potato. <laughs> potato. And I named mine Gertie. So... <laughs> But the way that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them all into motion with attacking something and the way that they swing this little stick, just it's like how I chase my kids with my chancla. Like <laughs> it's the same exact motion and I love it. Now, the Mandragora is really for monster hunting and stronghold hunting. An argument can be made that it will help towards face off because it can increase your will increase your hero basic attack defense and HP as well. One interesting thing that's different with these three monsters compared to all the other monsters that we've given is that, like gear, they have a plus 5, plus 10, and plus 15 enhancement bonus. So that is a really nifty change. I can show you what these dudes all look like in action. Because some of them look really cool. So that's going to be a little Gertie. And as, uh, as she heads back, she has like this dirt that just trails behind her, which is super funny. <laughs> I'm just loving it. And then we have, where's Lonnie? I think my Thunder, which has these lightning that shoots out from her. And then lastly, we have the Kansas, which has like a purple fire. I don't know if we get it from this angle. There we go. Very exciting to watch. I'm easily amused. We also have another event that's kind of running too. If we look into the forum, let's see if I can find it. It is on the steeples. And reaching these higher level of steeples are going to give you a considerable amount of Dark Lord chest, Crimson Material Selections chest, and finally Radiant chest. Which is kind of cool, because I don't know about you guys, but I have kind of totally lost interest in steeple hunting. So this is kind of kind of reinvoke that for me. So that's about it, Coconuts. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick show of the new event monsters. Hope you guys are all hunting them. Remember, you can use your random ports to port around and not waste your regular ports. Um, as well as take a look at some of the new updates that have occurred and events that they are running. Don't forget to check in daily so you can get your little um, gifts that they have going on right now for the June event, which is going to be down here. The update celebration. And I hope you guys have a really good blood moon because that is coming up. Definitely take advantage of the fact that there's going to be more higher monsters and that they're going to be dropping even more um, scrolls and elite stuffs. Let me know what you're thinking. Like and subscribe. And until next time.